Okay, this is Motorola's latest budget phone under 20,000. And while other brands are focusing really hard on launching phones around 25, 30,000, like see, Redmi Note series, which used to be the most iconic smartphone series in India under 20,000, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus launched at 30999 this year. Similarly, the Realme series used to be an iconic series for the budget category. The Realme 12 Pro Plus launched for 29999 this year. The way we used to wait eagerly for Redmi and Realme series launches, all of it has just faded away. And all of this Redmi and Realme hope has transferred to Motorola. And this is the reason why Moto G85 around 17,000 stands out. And I like the way Motorola has made a whole comeback this year. Like this phone has three unique features which I haven't seen in this price range. And Motorola has been very classic with the box. They have moved to this eco-friendly box with G85, whereas brands are removing charges from budget phones. This way of using zero plastic, all cardboard is a good way to actually save the environment. Jackie Shroff would be proud. And a quick interesting thing, you get the phone case, 33 watt charger, Type-A to Type-C cable, and usually Motorola packs in a PD charger with their smartphones, but since this is 33 watt, it's not a PD charger. Anyways, to understand why this phone is so iconic, you need to understand the Moto G series. Motorola, after a long time, for the first time in India, launched Moto G series at 12499. And year after year, every time, every G series brought the iconic software and specs in budget. And for the past three years, Moto G82 was the first phone to bring a POLED display. Now, a POLED display can fold on the inside and you get minimum bezels on the sides and at the top. Then G84 topped it up to be the first smartphone to bring Pantone colors and vegan leather back, which is now a trend in so many smartphones that you see. And now, this Moto G85. Like compared to last year's G84, this G85 has a slim design. The back and glass are both curved. It feels very slim to hold in the hand. Compared to this CMF Phone 1, which has very flat sides, you get this vegan leather finish on the back and the frame is made up of brushed material. Like, listen to this sound. It feels way different and better than a normal plastic frame that you get in budget phones. It like feels really nice to hold in hand. I, I should stop doing this. You have the olive green color. There are two other colors, cobalt blue and urban gray. But personally, I, I dig this green color. It's a green flag. Now, the whole point here is this phone has a 5000 mAh battery. And while most of the smartphones on the budget are either bulky or feel like a budget phone, the Moto G85 looks like a proper premium phone. It weighs only 174 to 175 grams. To give you an idea, the recently launched CMF Phone 1 and Realme P1 Pro, both with the same 5000 mAh battery, weigh quite a lot. Also, the frame is very thin. Like, if I show you from the sides, you can see the curved display from the sides. On the front, you get a 120Hz curved POLED display. And this is Motorola's first series to get a curved display. Like, I've been seeing smartphones around 25 to 30,000 getting a curved display. And frankly, I'm not a fan of curved display. Like, I have my own reasons. But the more I use this phone, I understood the appeal of curved displays. Like, if you hold the phone in hand, it looks like you're holding all display. And here's a cool hack that I found. If your phone is kept far away in a dark, low light room, and you keep your phone upside down, and now when you get a call, See, the display starts glowing around the edges and you get notified. The curved display really looks cool. But then again, I always recommend using tempered glass. Also, there is Corningolia Glass 5 protection on the front, which is good to see in this price range. And it's also good to see stereo speakers. It is loud. Plus, you get Dolby Atmos support, so you have this option to enhance audio mode. And recently, I was watching Mirzapur Season 3. This is the dialogue before customization. <laughs> And now this is the dialogue after in film mode. Can you hear the difference? And even the display quality is good. It can go 1600 nits of peak brightness. And even in such outdoor situations, it can go 1200 nits of brightness. And you can see the screen, icons, everything is visible. By the way, are you guys missing Munna Bhaiya in season 3 of Mirzapur? So overall, I believe this slim profile, low weight, curved smartphone is very refreshing to see under 20,000 rather than those bulky, ugly square smartphones. And talking about liking things, we definitely don't like processor naming schemes. So this comes with the Snapdragon 6S Gen 3 for the first time in India, 8GB LPDDR4X RAM, 128GB UFS 2.2 storage. Now there is also a 12GB RAM plus 256GB storage version and yes, it's 12GB physical RAM, no RAM boost and all of that stuff. Now for Snapdragon 6S Gen 3, you can consider it to be an upgraded version version of Snapdragon 695. Like in Antutu, it scores under 4.7 lakhs. Snapdragon 695 was around 4 lakhs. And even in games like BGMI, you can play 40 FPS at smooth graphics. But the thing here is, Snapdragon 6S Gen 3 doesn't support 4K videos just like Snapdragon 695. But what's good is, Snapdragon 6S Gen 3 has onboard AI capabilities compared to 695. And this is what makes G85 unique. While other brands are bringing the innovative and AI features on flagship smartphones, <coughs> 
the star AI. You get all those features here. You get Motorola's Hello UI based on Android 14. Motorola is promising two years of software updates and four years of security updates. And this time you get pretty much all the Edge series features on the G85. So it supports Motorola's new Smart Connect. Now if you have a Windows laptop, you can just pair the phone by scanning the QR code with Smart Connect. And now I just have to swipe up and see I can open any app on the Windows laptop. So that way I can still keep my DMs open and wait for my crushes reply while my friend can order from Zomato Gold on the laptop. Win win I guess even if the reply doesn't come. <laughs> and here's my favorite one. I can copy any link on my laptop and just simply paste it on the phone on WhatsApp and send it. It seamlessly syncs the clipboard between my phone and the laptop. And this is what is good. While other brands keep their ecosystem or flagship features limited to the flagship series, you get everything on the budget G85. And it also has a bunch of AI features like there is this sky option so I can pick up my old photos which had a dull sky and I can entirely replace the sky. And not just that, if you're creative, you can do this, this, and even replace the sky in your videos. Overall, I like the way the software is turning out this year in Motorola phones in 2024. If you're a Motorola user, you can check out this video, everything that you need to know about it after watching this video. Now, camera is where the G85 shines. You get a 50 megapixel Sony LYT600 sensor with OIS and you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, which is also a macro camera. Now, it takes good photos like this photo I took at 1x, 2x. It looks so vibrant and good. Even the 2x photo has details. And due to OIS, in low light, the photos don't come out blurry or shaky. The ultra wide angle photos are good for daylight conditions. If you zoom in, the pictures are a bit soft. The macro photos come out well, like have a look at this photo, it looks so good. Now, 8 megapixel ultra wide is usual in this price range, but having an 8 megapixel ultra wide plus macro is a good one. Overall, this is what you get at this price range. And on the main camera, you can record in 1080p 30fps. Even on the front camera, you get a 32 megapixel selfie camera that can only record in 1080p because Snapdragon 6s Gen 3 doesn't support 4K recording. But I really like the skin tone in selfies and this portrait photo I took in a difficult background and still the edge detection around my ears is on point. All in all, I love how Motorola software processing has gone this year. Like they have entirely changed their perception in terms of camera. All in all, if you need a smartphone for media consumption, it has to be a 5G smartphone. You need good, clean software experience. I believe the Moto G85 is a very good option here, especially the photos from the camera. Now the pricing I assume is going to be around 17,000 rupees with bank offers and everything. It will go on sale on 16 July on Flipkart and Motorola.in. You're thinking of doing a best smartphone under 20,000. Let us know which smartphone do you want us to include in it. On that note, this is Pili signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew.